Hey, Hannah here. Um, this video is about me revamping a look that didn't sell. I had did this to it first with the raised stencil of like puppy dog prints. And I just was going out of my comfort zone and maybe I went too far. I have like a couple of the glaze look so I could put a rub on and it, it didn't sell. I got like two offers that were like really low. So I said, I need to do something about this. It's been two months. And so I wasn't quite sure at this point what I was going to do. I knew that I had to sand down the, the, the paw prints. I knew that just to get it all smooth, I knew that it was going to be blue and I had some leftover paint that I mixed up because this is actually a mixture of like blue and black to give it like a, I don't know, a gray blue kind of look. So right here, I'm just trying to smooth this down without going too far. It is a laminate dresser. So I just had to do a careful, careful sanding of the top of the dresser and just as long as it felt smooth that's what I was going with because some of the paw prints didn't all go away but you can't go crazy when it comes to laminate things you got to just be very careful how you sand it down before it goes too far and then you can't do much so it's sanded it's wiped down and this is all I saved from the first mixture, which kind of made me nervous, but I said, let me just go ahead on and fill in what I need to fill in. At this point, I'm just rubbing where it's needed the most. This is not what I'm going to do overall, but right now I'm trying to just fill in the sections that, well, are missing the blue paint. And then, of course, you need a roller to make sure everything is even. And just the color. It helps with the color. It helps with it not having streaks and different swirls and different things on there. So I don't know if I showed the full amount of me doing this, but trust me, you have to go up and down evenly. But I'm, I think I'm holding the camera right now. So I had to switch from the GoPro to my regular phone. And this is better. No, this is still the GoPro. Okay. <laughs> now you see it. <clears throat> when you see two of my hands, I know it's my camera, my phone on the stand. And I'm able to like really dig in and get some work done. And you can see the bottom drawers. I didn't even remove the handles yet. At this point, I still don't even know that I'm going to do the gold leafing. I'm just trying to clear up everything that I've done on this piece to give me a blank canvas, which I want it to be all blue. And the top handles, I took them out because, well, they needed all the work. So I, this is when I had to figure out that I'm not keeping any of the looks that I had before. And yes, this little thing still has paint left in it for me to do the top two drawers and the top of the dresser and the part that was left wood at the base and the uh, mid part. So right now I'm thinking I'm going to put a stencil or something on there. Like I, I have no idea what I'm about to do, but yes, this is me going to do the gold leafing attempt for the first time. And yeah, I painted the bottom. Unfortunately, the base that, you know, my honey bear did, it's just, it's not standing out and there's no reason why it should stay wood color unless it's like this really stand out that stand out base so since it's really simple I just went ahead and painted it 
the same color as the dresser. Because whatever design I'm going to put on there, I want design to just be the only attention grabber and everything else to be really, really simple. At this point, I'm like, I need a second coat, so I can't deal with that little thing anymore. It did well for the first coat, but I had to go in the garage and mix up more of the paint of the blue and black Krylon, hoping that it won't look a mess. But fortunately, it was a perfect match. I started with the top so that I can see it, and if it's a little off, it wouldn't be too bad, but it was a perfect match, which has never happened for me before. <laughs> I've tried to do this before, so it's always good to save as much as you can from a project. I did have more, but I put it in a small container, so I, I had to dump the rest, so it's always good to try to save as much as you can when you mix colors. So if you're still tuning in, hopefully you can subscribe to my channel. You can see me give you a realistic look of trying to get through some of these projects. I mean, it looks so great when people can do it so, so well. And you're like, oh, that doesn't look bad. But <laughs> I will try it for the first time and I will post it and you will see exactly how it really is when you actually knew it trying to do something. I just don't want that to stop me from trying. So um, normally people don't use Mod Podge for this gold leaf, but I have watched some tutorials that said that it's, it was working just as well um, because they have a, a special glue for that. Um, I don't remember what it is right now, but I'm going to put it inside of the description because I did happen to order it because I wanted to have it on hand to do my own comparison. And since I'm really new, I figure it might make things a lot easier if I do everything exactly how it's supposed to be done. But I do find that um, I wasn't trying to buy anything. I'm just going to be straight up. I was revamping a piece and I wanted to use everything that I already had. I had gold leafing that I bought months ago to try I had Mod Podge from my projects and drawer lining and I'm able to do this project without spending any money which is what I wanted so with this I had to place the glue on there I spread it as thin as possible making sure I covered everything <laughs> and then I let it sit a little bit just to get a little tacky like you don't want it wet and so it is tacky but this part is very difficult because the sheets are very very delicate very delicate and they don't lay we already ripped my first sheet <laughs> they don't lay that easily and I was given I, I saw tutorials where they said Put a little powder on your fingers to kind of um, make it able to handle the sheets better. But I don't have powder. I stopped using baby powder since I got all the, you know, the warnings about not using baby powder. So I don't have any baby powder. And then I um, forgot that the other advice was to keep the the white tissue paper in between on it as you put it on there and I didn't do that to the very end and not even on camera I don't think I did that so this was my very first experience just trying to do this and I figured let me just do a nice little design and I know all the advice people were saying was to start with something small and I never do that I don't know what's wrong with me I never start with something small I never start with something insignificant 
I start with important things and I just start big. That's just what I do. I do believe part of this video, I'm just forgetting everything that I learned for this. But, um, I did find that it was just, a, it was a lot. A lot of work, a lot of fixing. And it's time consuming. It's not something that if you're trying to do something quick, let me just throw this on here. No, this takes time, takes focus. You're literally glue in different areas and then you're waiting for the glue to get tacky for you to even move forward with your project. So it's definitely something that took longer than I thought. I think I worked on this two different days. Like I couldn't just work on it one day. And so I knew that I was going to do it on the drawers and the top. So I just went ahead and said, okay, let me do this. I will be returning to the top and make it, doing some work on that too. I also try my best to overlap everything because that's what they said to uh, kind of overlap it. I also didn't know if they immediately put the gold leaf on there and then started working at it or did they walk away. So I started to put it on there and let it sit for a little bit because I find that... Um, it just seems like it wasn't adhering as much as I wanted it to. I know this video can be kind of slow because this is how long it takes to do these kind of things, even though most of the things I did aren't on camera. It's just that um, 
it looks more simpler than it is. But it does take a lot of time, a lot of patience. And it does give this kind of aged look to something, but luxury aged look, I think. It just looks really gorgeous. I did continue to apply where I wanted it at, and then I continued to reapply different parts to try to fix up things I think will look a little bit better if it just had more gold on it. I'm trying to work the angle right for this piece. So I gave it some time, but it seems like no matter how much time I give it, I'm not getting exactly what I want. So I decided to um, put it on there and just walk away for an hour <laughs> and come back. That way it's on there. It's very delicate. I felt like no matter what I did, I could not get this paper to just lay on there straight. But I also didn't utilize what I was told to do. I did order some more gold leafing, and I think when I do this again, I would definitely step it up. The powder, the other product. Just trying to fill in some of the rips. You can see I also filled in the top part just to do a little bit of adding more gold to it. I was still a little disappointed. I felt like I wasn't getting the results I wanted. I thought one corner wasn't enough for the dresser, so I decided to put some along the back just to kind of see if that were kind of pulled, pull it together. It just 
one part wasn't working for me. This is sped up. <laughs> and so I took a break and I'm using Rub and Buff Gold Leaf um, color to polish all the handles. I did start with just the top, but then that's when I decided that the other handles cannot stay black or even like I gave it a little bit of dusting and I like I can't keep it that way so I have to make all of the handles which you don't see me do the other handles but I did do all the handles in gold and just fill in the different spots and make sure it was all gold I didn't want too many colors going on with the piece And so now I'm doing a few repairs on this side, just adding to it and on the edge. And then now I'm just kind of cleaning, wiping down and trying to see if it um, took it here a little bit better. And I really want it to hang off the edge. I felt like it's so difficult to get it to just hang off the edge. I thought it would look much cuter if it was coming down a little bit more. So here I go, still adding to, still fixing. I like the holes in the antique look. I just wanted a few solid corners. So that's what I was kind of working at. I left that piece in the back for a while. But I will say that after I started removing it, I kind of knew that it wasn't going to be enough. It was just so far in the back. It was such a mess everywhere. And even though it was recommended to use a vacuum, I used kind of what was on hand to clear up and take a look at my project <laughs> you can see that I have put some gold leafing in between the drawers and the top just to of course have it be more well more cohesive I didn't want it to stop it and start and then stop it and start I wanted to just kind of go flow downward but I wasn't quite done with the top so I added some more gold leafing so it could um, come towards the front, the back part. And then I also just added more on the drawers so that it would be like more solid on certain parts. I 
I see why these packages come in hundreds because I went through so many of them. And so I had this coming down to sort of like a point a little bit. So now it's time for me to kind of just clean it up, get the loose pieces off because I was getting ready to put a top coat on there. I started with the plain drawers for the top coat because I knew that the other gold pieces were going to be a mess. And I will tell you, I didn't even put that on camera. It was just a lot I must have changed my brush about three times and I changed the poly just trying to keep the gold pieces from getting everywhere but um, definitely use a sponge brush to kind of get all the product in and just smooth it across and watch out for drippings and I did two coats so please stand by. This is a reminder of what I did to it before. Keep in mind what it looked like. And then you will see, compare it with um, what I did this time. And let me know which one you think is better. Now this is what I did with the gold leafing. You saw me struggling like crazy, but I made the handles over gold made it blue the rest of the dresser and i hope that you like this look because i'm going to try to sell it like this tell me what you think